All right. Welcome back. We got a nice little chest day to get through this morning. This fine, lovely morning. It's a whopping 2.57 right now. And we are heading to the gym. I'll be honest, this morning had no urge whatsoever to get up, motivation, whatever you want to call it. Literally zero. I just want to stay in bed, all cozy. But, but you know what? If I know something, it's that motivation never, never became great. It's about discipline. No, I'm kidding. I just like going on a crazy rant. No, but I feel like these are the moments you got to be disciplined. And I don't know, like I've always said regarding any goal, that discipline's got to outweigh that motivational feeling that comes and goes that you'll be laying in bed and then all of a sudden you get this kick of random motivation can't be relying on that and especially with something like bodybuilding you're just trying to like put on size like I said I think it was like the first video it was a marathon not a sprint and if I treat it like a sprint, then I'm gonna burn out real quick. Which just doesn't, which just doesn't fall over. And yeah. So, basically just trying to get through this workout, get a good pump, get a good lift in. And yeah, the plan is, Probably start off with some type of cable or fly. Um, some pre-exhaustion exhaustion sets. And after that, either a dumbbell press or possibly a barbell incline or something like that. Maybe. Smith machine, maybe. Um, then after that, let's see, we're probably going to go to, after two pressing movements, probably another fly. So whether that be dumbbells or just another cable and then finish on another pressing or possibly another fly. We'll see. Um, but yeah, basically just trying to grow my upper chest as much as possible. So a lot of times I will try to focus Oh my god, I'll try to focus um, incline just to kind of try to emphasize that upper chest as much as possible. It's just hard for me just because I don't have, I don't know, it's just hard for me to contract sometimes like the full pec instead of just, I guess like the lower mid, lower mid pec instead of getting that kind of shelf look if you will. And yeah so basically just trying to pump blood into every single area humanly possible in the pec and yeah so that's the plan we're gonna do for the pre-exhaustion well i can't say that word um will be probably two sets of like 15 20 reps and then after that for let's say a dumbbell let's say if i do a double press or an incline um, or incline barbell or incline dumbbell press it'll probably be work up to a top set and then you need to do two back offs um, and yeah or one back off depending on I guess how the movement feels and my energy levels as well if I feel like I can push past failure and obviously fatigue my chest fairly well within two sets then I will do those two sets if not then I'll add in the extra one um, and a lot of times like I said in the past video it's based off feel so understanding your body and all that 
think it's super important. Help prevent in injury. Um, it'll just help you obviously understand how to go about a workout and how to set it up. And then kind of once you get to know your body, you don't have to be so meticulous about workout routine or, or stuff like that. And you can kind of, I mean, you're gonna have like your split and stuff like that, don't get me wrong. But in terms of like the movements and setup, you don't have to be too meticulous. I mean, as long as you're just training hard, right? And then again, you should be seeing progress if doing something in the gym and going a little close to failure at least, right? To some regard. So yeah, I guess just trying to focus the squeeze. Um, again, pumping blood into that muscle that's more intended to train. And yeah, just trying to break down as many fibers as possible. But yeah, we're gonna keep trying out different training techniques. Um, I still obviously like doing slow and controlled, but I wanna start doing a little bit more, I guess up tempo, possibly, or like an in between, uh, and not be so strict on form. Again, as long as I'm getting a good pump in that and whatever muscle I'm training, and my form isn't horrible, then I feel like we'll allow some more, some a little less strictness on movements. So again, you might see in the videos training style change, but I'm, I'm going to talk about that if it does happen or anything um, or anything like that, just so you guys know and are up to date with everything I'm doing and yeah so kind of as usual add in a little tricep movement at the end just for pump nothing crazy at all three sets um, three to four sets high rep 15 20 reps probably and yeah that'll be the end of that chest workout so that's what we have planned for today we're gonna kill it that was the most lead that was the least convincing we're gonna kill it heard around the world i swear but we're gonna kill it we're gonna get the job done and yeah probably about two minutes out from the gym i have some oats next to me that I have not eaten yet that i need to eat it's just i think it's i did a half cup so literally tiny just I have, usually I have zero appetite in the morning, so I just get something down with some water and then go hit the workout. But I make sure I have a big meal before I go to bed. And last night I had a good amount of slices of pizza and a good amount of lemon pepper wings. So <laughs> I should be feeling pretty full or loaded. Loaded and bloated with sodium, so. Should feel pretty good in the gym, hopefully, ideally. After I eat these oats as well, and drink my pre super quick. And yeah, we'll go ahead and hop in there. So, besides that, I will see you guys when I get to the gym. All right. We have arrived. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We have arrived safely at our destination. Another day, another packed house. Sold out seats for the Alex Chess Day. They couldn't wait. Tickets sold out within 10 seconds, I heard. So yeah, should be a busy, busy one in there. Should be fighting for equipment, elbows, nudging. Oh my god, why am I pointing at <laughs> the dash? <laughs> yeah, it should be a busy one in there, like I said. Gonna be going a little crazy, you know, no biggie. Just kidding. But yeah, we're gonna hop in there, do our thing, do that thing. I don't know what's going on right, right now. <laughs> I think it's 3.07. I think I'm just going manic no no um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy again just filming top sets so i hope you guys enjoy that oh my also 
this pre <laughs> pre tastes absolutely horrible. Tastes like cigarette ash poo water. But gotta get some energy in us. Un but freaking leaveable. Average EOS member. Yo, the gang's all here. Nice, dude. Shocker. But yeah, let's get in there. I wanna take you away. Let's escape into the music. DJ, let it play. I just can't refuse it. Like the way you do this. Keep on rocking to it. Please don't stop. chest workout I'm not gonna lie the pre-workout hit today and because I didn't have any caffeine yesterday 
and that's a big thing if you do take pre-workout you'll definitely feel a big difference if you take caffeine during the day before you work out or if you take it obviously just wait to take it during your workout or before your workout and yeah so pretty good pump today as you guys saw um I like the layout of the work of the movements I did today. Um, you saw I started with a squeeze, so obviously that seated chest fly um, with the cables, and then incline barbell bench, and then slight incline dumbbell press, um, and then after that you saw I did the cables and the seated chest fly machine. So again, I really emphasize the squeeze on my chest just because really hard for me to contract my chest sometimes on like any pressing movements or anything like that because my shoulders will take over like my front delt so I really have to emphasize keeping my shoulders down as much as I can and keeping the chest up and point it to the sky um, I need to do a way better job at keeping my chin up higher because little cues like that will help you contract your entire pec and stuff like um, just little things like that will essentially create the best fiber breakdown that you can achieve so obviously with that being our goal I need to work on that basically every set or every workout and be more conscious of little little cues that can probably don't seem like will make a big difference but obviously if I mean you're working out every single day I mean day after day it'll pile up that one percent so that one percent turns to two then a three percent so you will eventually see that progress from those little adjustments that you do make um, besides that, I want to say I usually keep my chest workouts between 12 to like 15 working sets. Um, and with the pressing movements, most of those will be like two sets, so a top set and then a back off. Um, and then for the isolation ones, it'll be like three, maybe even four sometimes, but it just depends. So that's why it'll, it'll really vary. Um, or it could be like anywhere from 12 to like 16, maybe 13 to 16 around there. Again, I don't really keep track. I just kind of go based off like fatigue as well. And again, that like pump feeling. Obviously, if I start losing my pump and that's everything, it's probably time to call it, call the workout. But usually I'm able to go the entire way. And then towards the end, that's when I'll just, my chest starts giving. And then, yeah, then that's when it's time to wrap it up. But yeah, pre-workout was hitting differently today. Um, I take some nootropic, which is like a focus supplement, which I highly recommend for anyone that doesn't like like doesn't like high stimulants or even stimulant at all you can find some nootropics with no stim at all and it's just like a super cognitive enhancing focus supplement essentially and that paired with like my pre-workout um i have the ghost all out one right now and that's from when i worked at gnc i got a ton of free pre-workout so i have i have a couple laying around and that's one the one i've been using and that one's 400 milligrams per scoop of caffeine yeah 400 milligrams of caffeine per scoop um and yeah i don't i don't full scoop it at this time no way i usually do like half if not maybe like three quarters if i feel like i need it but that mixed with the nootropic and then some citrulline which again just a little bit more pump even though my pre-workout does have everything you need for pump it just had me feeling crazy in there i'm not gonna lie feeling like i was going insane honestly felt like santa claus in there i was just just going through it man i was just pumping it out it was my santa claus moment i was just going crazy <laughs> but <laughs> yeah i just i don't know it was like an out-of-body experience in there <laughs> but super good workout um endorphins are high obviously so i mean for anyone that doesn't feel so happy on their day-to-day -day, i mean i think it's important to get your workouts in um that way your body can release that um those I guess those negative feelings and again kind of get those endorphins flowing um because even even if you're just going into the gym and going through the movements and doing whatever it's better than obviously not going so I think just take advantage of that um obviously there's studies that prove that people that work out are less likely to be depressed um so yeah I guess that's something to take into account take that information as you will do with it as you will and yeah that should wrap it up really i think of anything else but 
I also gotta save my thoughts for the next videos too. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, I'm gonna be mic'd up soon. So I might be, again, the baby barf compilation coming. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy that chest workout. Oh, I also did that, I also did a tricep movement at the end, but I didn't film it, it was just a cable crossbody um, tricep extensions that you guys saw on my first shoulders and arms day. Um, but yeah, so leave a like, subscribe, don't do any of that, do all of it, comment, comment whatever you want. Comment your favorite color, comment, comment, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just messing. But yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video, it should be shoulders and arms, I'll probably film that tomorrow, and yeah, have that up on Friday, and then Monday will be legs, and then yeah, just keep the rotation going, but besides that, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.